It's everyone's friend, it's Tyler. It's everyone's friend, it's Tyler. Hey guys, Tyler here. This year's Pride Month has been uh, incredibly polarizing to say the least. On social media, President Joe Biden posted this. Today, the People's House, your house, sent a clear message to the whole country and the world. America is a nation of pride. At first glance, I thought this whole entire thing looks incredibly gimmicky, but I understand the logic behind it. Largely, because this month is basically Pride Month, and so people and in businesses, including governments, want to show pride and, I guess, support for the gay community. And so while it might be look gimmicky, I guess I have nothing necessarily against the very concept of the White House having the gay flag. But there are like a lot of right wing commentators that have really strong opinions about that particular issue. Ben Shapiro, one of the top commentators for right wing media, stated that no one American soldier fought and bled for this flag. Not one American taxpayer paid taxes to the government of this flag. Not one law has passed under a government elected under this flag. The ideological coup is completed. I suppose my own personal reaction to that kind of commentary by Ben Shapiro would it be that, of course, when it comes down to soldiers fighting for people, they basically fight for the rights of all people. They fight for the rights for women in this country. They fight for the rights of minorities in this country. So they basically fight for all rights of Americans, no matter the background. Additionally, the service members that are fighting for our country are also gay people, are also transgender people. And so basically, it's no matter the background, anybody's fighting for all Americans and their liberties within this country. And so we cannot necessarily pretend that, of course, people don't want to actually have people have other rights because they fought for this country. Additionally, politicians are elected by the people to represent their entrance. And of course, a main entrance for many politicians nowadays is to have the gay people on their side. And so I don't see how this is actually a bad thing. I think not so long ago, it was actually Donald Trump that also had the gay flag in one of his like, you know, speeches. And so how is it that there's like no complaints about when Donald Trump had the flag versus what the White House had with Joe Biden. So Maxwell Mayer said this, United States flag code. The flag of the United States of America should be at the center and at the highest point of the group when a number of flags are grouped and displayed. Biden is violating the flag code by putting the ridiculous black trans pride flag at the center. I think this tweet right here has the best rebuttal to that claim. What does the code say about the traitor's flag? You don't seem to care about that one. <laughs> oh, that's like a very nice own right there. <laughs> Additionally, there are actually a picture of the American flag front and center at the White House. And so I'm not sure why this uh, comment is actually crying about the United States code. Jordan Peterson writes down, and pride goeth before a fall. I don't understand the idea that somehow putting a gay flag means that our nation is going down. When in reality, there are many things that make our nation go down besides having a gay flag. For example, the issue of abortion. Now, many women are basically forced to give birth to children that they don't actually want now, thanks to what happened in the Supreme Court, the whole entire idea of health care. Because the bills for many Americans are so high for health care, that's why they cannot necessarily afford a payment for their personal health care. And there are like other ideas that are pulling our society down. I don't think just having a gay flag is actually the main reason why our country is going down right now. Carl Bisherman, Sargon of God. The statement will be used by future historians to help explain the collapse of the United States. <laughs> it's a clear message, all right. The United States government is run by child groomers and perverts, and this demented creep is a pervert in chief. I just love the sort of <laughs> conflation between gay people and child groomers. It's just, I have no words to actually describe how I feel about that comment. When it comes down to certain reaction about certain people about that particular flag at the White House, I feel as though that there are some individuals in the comments that I responded to that have their brain too much soaked into culture war stuff. Yes, I understand 
that there are some elements of the extreme minority that can be really, really frustrating, but you need to really pick your battles, guys. Pick your battles wisely. Getting upset that the White House has a pride flag during Pride Month is like one of those battles that does not necessarily make any sort of sense to me. Yes, I can understand that what they did at the White House is very gimmicky, but your reaction is like no different than the liberals that you complain about when it comes on this particular matter. Like you guys say that like, you know, liberals are so sensitive about certain things and here you guys are crying about a flag during Pride Month. But uh, what do you guys think about this issue? Tell me in the comment section down below and I'll see you guys in the next video. It's everyone's friend, it's Tyler. He's your only black friend, so he's your best black friend. I wouldn't trade him for another black friend. Because black friends are rare as you should be aware. He smiles like Richard Pryor, so just sit and stare. It's everyone's friend, it's Tyler. It's everyone's friend, it's Tyler. It's everyone's friend, it's Tyler.